back in 1984. David Ponce Sr. and Shriner Chef Everett from Boston were debating who had the best chowder. They decided the only way to determine that was to have a cook-off. And that cook-off started in 1984 and evolved into what it is today, from four or 500 people to over 6,000 people now. Other than having the best chowder in St. Augustine, what would be the purpose of it? And the proceeds throughout the years has been donated to the Shrine Hospital of North America. I think that first year they had like four restaurants and a couple of hundred people out on the dock. And it's no longer, we can't even get on the dock, you know. It's, it's the entire resort area now. The restaurants serve hundreds and hundreds of gallons of chowder but I've never seen any of them leave with chowder. So it's pretty much all consumed. Everybody seems to have a fabulous time. It's amazing to see over 30 restaurants donating their time, their talent, and their chowders. They win a trophy, and the real winners are the kids, the Shrine Hospitals. And it's uh, the community, it's not just uh, the Shriners, it's really the, the, the people. First Sunday every November, 